Well, here's where we are right now, Escondido, near San Diego, California. Jack, I'm going to go down to the yard to work on that engine. Come on, let's go. All right, right this way. Come on, follow me. All right. Uh, I got the really scaly rust off, but it's still pretty rusty. So I've been to Home Depot. Steel wool, emery cloth sandpaper for metal, wire brush, and I'm not going to photograph every little bit about cleaning. But, this thing got pretty heavy. It got heavier over the years. I used to pick it up. <laughs> you can see, I'm making some progress. It's moving, but it's kind of jamming. It has self-aligning bearings, so that will be <clears throat> straightened out. And hopefully, it's not going to be a question of me using the Stilson wrench for pipe fitting to make it go. Okay, I have my rust remover. It's pretty nasty stuff, so got eye protection and gloves. And what you do is you just paint it on, let it sit for 15 minutes, and you wash it off. This is going to be the biggest scene in the whole video. We'll just let the camera run for 15 minutes while it works. That's it for today, and uh, we'll get some more shots. It got dark on me. I'm working by flashlight. But there's got to be a better way to get the rust off of those motor parts than just hand, hand scraping. So I went to the store and got a wire brush for my drill. We'll try that first thing in the morning in the daylight. We'll see how this night feature works on taking a video too. See ya. Lights off. Really dark out here. Clean my motor. Polish that motor. This is the motor. Fix it up. How are you doing? Hey, you know what? All this work on scientific two-cylinder rotary steam engines is making me hungry. So I think it's time to roll up our sleeves and make some eggs. I want two eggs over easy. I brought my egg pans. This pan is for two eggs and this little bit bigger pan is for three eggs or an omelet and you can make them right on your stovetop here. We'll pretend that the steam engine parts are the stovetop. So first of all, we want to get our pan warmed up on the stovetop. And we want to put in, I like to put in a little butter or olive oil or something like that. Evenly dispersed. Get the pan nice and warm. Take your eggs. These are organic eggs from Rhode Island Red Chickens. Really thick shells. Break them and put them in. They're going to cook a while. You want to get them right where the eyes, the yellow of the eggs, is like here and here, not here and here or here, and, you know kind of because of the weight when you go to flip them. So here I am cooking my eggs in. I'm going to use a piece of bread to be my virtual egg. And then here's how to flip it. You're not going to throw it on the ceiling. It's going to roll up the curvature of this pan because it's made the right way. It's going to come up like that and it's just going to lay back down on this side, cook a little bit more there. So here we go. That's it. Okay, now I cook some more on this side, bottom side. I put them on my plate. Watch how they go on the plate. Like that. 
Good eating. Okay, back to work. Would you believe this car right here is powered by one of those two-cylinder rotary steam engines? Only problem is the door is stuck. Yeah, I was up on my roof because I'm thinking about solar power. You know what? Just stop and think for a minute. All the kind of things that a motor like this could run. It would totally make electric toothbrushes obsolete. You got cars, you got boats, you got planes, you got the first steam powered rickshaw in Thailand. You know, what I mean? you know what I'm saying? The only thing is, somebody's got to work out a boiler. That's your job. All right. Sports car. Here's the manifold. Got it cleaned up too. Air pressure's going to go in here, on and off, down into the cylinders. That ought to do it. Hey, you're doing well, aren't you? Hey, all right. I got the parts cleaned up here. Nice and shiny. Check this out. They spin pretty smoothly. But you know what? As smooth as it is, it still takes a little effort to do this. So I don't know if we're going to get too much leakage without seals in here for air to pump it through. Here's the side plate, the bearings, and the cushions. And they. And they It'll go right on. It'll close up. Just like that. Alright. I hope we have some good luck. Hey, hey, hey. It's Cinco de Mayo 2009. Hola. <laughs> uh, I'm ready to fire up the compressor. Got the parts cleaned up. Things are coming along just great. Let's put a little pressure on the tank and see if we can make it go. A year just went by. Time flies when you're having fun. It's uh, Wednesday, March 24th, 2000. So yeah. here's what I'd like to see happen under its own power. Got the wrench on one of the axles, and it just turns very nice. <coughs> Did I show you how it's really supposed to work? Here's an example. Behind this side plate are the two rotors. What's to say that oil itself wouldn't make a good seal? Let's try it. Hey buddies, here's a nice coating of that gooey Rizaline. Oh, let's seal it up. Here's the last trick. Got the sawdust, the STP Rizaline, the motor oil, all the stuff in there. We'll close it up and see if it seals. Here's to you. We're going to get it to turn. There we go. It was easier, it was easier to turn it, but uh, we really need to go back to the drawing board and come up with some kind of seals for this printer. Hey, thanks for watching. Keep on, keep on keeping on.